Hi, this is Hosen Chan. Okay, um, the topic for today is nothing but drums. Drums, I know, I know, it's hard, right? Maybe uh, um, some of you is like uh, really good for the uh, drum mixing, like tone shaping for every individual instrument, individual drums, but I'm uh, the most of the uh, guys like who want to be a sound engineers or being a sound engineer is but I'm a, it's kind of a many people have some difficulties to get the uh, right drums right right tones and the right sound right well the thing is I'm a, we all know not even the sound engineers and all the people knows what a good drum is if they like the the music okay so as a sound engineer it's like uh, you you guys might uh, wonder how how the other guys get the uh, really nice tom like uh, for play the chant the, the tom thing right not really like woomy but um, it's just the right amount and, and nowadays like uh, when we have a uh, like mix like this one wing or like DAW that has all the digital gate and compressors and EQs we can actually have a good tones with it if you really know how to do so today um, I'm I'm gonna just go over the uh, how to make a good tones or how to shape the good tones and I hope you guys have some clue and I want you to try to mimicking of what I uh, I'm gonna do today so let's do it okay I know you guys don't like to talk right okay First, uh, we have uh, here kick out, right? Kick out and kick in. Kick in is a little more bright, right? Uh, we have a gate here. So. Okay, let's go for our kick in first, always. So we have to have a like good tone first, good shape, and the uh, add, kick out, or not, okay? I always use this way, the uh, gate first, and then, um, and then comp, so I'm gonna edit here, so I'm gonna add, uh, go back, I'm gonna put the uh, comp first, and EQ, I'm gonna tell you why. Okay, so first, let's go to the arcade. Uh, we have a ratio and a range. I always begin with the uh, maximum range and the minimum ratio. Okay, so first you gotta listen to tone. I'm gonna just a little more on the master sections. Okay, always go with the uh, really high. So first, you gotta know the uh, rhythms, right? Set the attack on one millisecond. Hold and release for the minimum. So we will get the uh, just right amount of top. You gotta know the uh, beat. Dun, 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 dun. The basic drum, right? I'm gonna just get the uh, kick out of whole, whole of this mess. These are snares and all the things, right? So, how about a little low? Okay, it is good to have just a good top. I'm gonna tell you why. Uh -huh. Okay. Let's get the like a trigger thing, like a trig, trigger the tongue. And then I'm gonna increase the hold about like uh, 15 milliseconds. Two, 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 right? I'm gonna add a release. I don't wanna listen the whole, the, the kind of emptiness or the the drums like unnecessary resonance at the end but 
like this. Okay, so it seems a little bit high, a little, a little low. You gotta know what the uh, hold and release do, but um, let's just keep going. Okay, I'm gonna go to the uh, comp. Ratio seems fine, so and me up. Attack. I'm gonna take care of the uh, transient. So attack is about one millisecond. Let's leave it the uh, release. I'm gonna use the pick. The thing that I'm gonna get from the compressor is it taking care of the whole transient energy out of the tone. So I, I don't wanna have the uh, just uh, the initial attack thing, not just from the uh, drum itself, but the uh, microphones or compressors or room size. Okay, I'm gonna increase the gain. Compare. One more time. This seems more uh, clean, right? Okay, I'm gonna leave it here and EQ. Let's use the uh, touch screen. The, the kick drum of this tone has like a really uh, kind of narrow or like, uh, I would say it's like a trip sound. So I need to take care of the uh, mid. Like a really cheap vinyl or yeah, some plastic tones. Let's compare. Okay. Let's uh, bypass. Okay. Comp. EQ. What do you think? Getting better, right? Okay. I'm gonna add a little bit of a low end. Do you like it? Okay, I hope you like it. Okay, I'm gonna add the uh, sub. I mean, kick up. Let's get the um, the gate and We gotta think about the balance, right? This one does does have like a narrow mid, so let's uh, use compressor too. Just 
just taking care of the uh, whole transient first I am going to have the uh, like sustains only from this the uh, kick out so taking care of the uh, whole transient and then boost the, uh, the sustain and release you can do it by the compressors because the attack time is one millisecond this sounds like a narrow nasal this is we we can hear the low end right okay and same oh yes this is really cool cool functions so let's get the uh, whole low end from the uh, kick out my microphones so How about like taking care of the uh, high? Okay, let's leave it like that. Snares. This is a snare top. Same. I'm gonna get the cut before the EQ. There's a ringing, right? I'm just taking care of the ringing and also the uh, whole the other tones. Okay, let's use comp two. Tangent control. I'm gonna take care of the uh, aggressiveness, right? EQ. Bottom. some strainers yeah a little bit longer release to get the whole the sustain high 
hi hat. You can use a uh, low. I have on this section so a little like that. You're not gonna have a high turn on this roof. So they will just Okay. So it'll be good to have a gate here. So I don't want to hear this for other things than time, right? You gotta wait, but um, we'll see. Let's live like that. Yeah, there was a doom, right? Okay, same. Let's use compressor before the. EQ. So the, the reason uh, that I put the compressor before EQ is I'm going to take care, care of the uh, whole the, um, transient or sustain. So I'm going to take care of the, the envelope side, not just by the EQ, but a control of the uh, envelope will be better to have a good tones. And then EQ, I can yeah, shape the tones. Okay, same thing. I'm gonna go for the uh, uh, transient controls all the way. Hold will do some other things here. Yeah, okay, that was a little bit. Okay, and then turn the EQ. I'm gonna cut the uh, low, low mid here to, to help the. Uh, Good, certain, nice, decent tone. It'll come. Yeah, better. Cause, see this? Mm, just loop on the. Let me go back to get just a time. Okay, just a time. Mm -mm. Okay, that's the tone that I take care of. Yeah, different, right? Get me a horse down.
little bit longer on the uh, top. You can decrease the range to get the uh, cost note. I'm gonna bypass all the uh, all the things so you can uh, check the differences. Okay. This is the uh, original sound, like track. And, and then I can add some uh, reverb. Kind of like saving the drums. Okay. So. Or you can reduce the reverb from here. Okay. No reverb will kick. So this is a snare. But We used gate, so I can add a little bit of a kick to blend in the reverb. Not, not just uh, giving the whole reverb, but I'm just gonna blend on the uh, whole. It's more natural because uh, we use gate to cut all the uh, room information there. Okay. And the, uh, the crash seems kind of uh, loud, so I'm gonna put the gate compress on it. Okay, if you have something like this in your um, also worship or uh, or jazz bar or uh, yeah, music, music scene you can have this uh, uh, feedback from your audience I think so okay today we are kind of a within uh, it took 24 minutes right by explaining and, and I, I well, I can do like a within 6 or 7 minutes, but I'm, uh, I just 
one by one and explain so I want you guys to do this like one one channel for it's like one channel for about two minutes or less the main goal will be like 30 seconds so 30 seconds times 24 that's 12 minutes right yeah so band cannot wait longer than that but so it's like you can build up the skill okay I hope you like the uh, video and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. Goodbye. Okay, thank you. Thank you for watching it. Subscribe and share in your um, community, okay?